Okay, this is going to be the YouTube version of this week's trivia. Let's jump right in. Here's the rules. Category 1, in the news, five things that have happened since last week. Question 1, what Oscar-winning actor was spotted last week protesting for animal rights at the Fearman's Abattoir near my house last week? I said last week twice. Fix that. Question two. With what country did Canada strike a new trade deal last week? Hopefully it's only one. Question three. What popular Toronto Raptor inked a four-year $85 million contract last week to remain with the team? Question four. Built in collaboration with director James Cameron, Mercedes this week released a futuristic concept car complete with transparent doors, a giant curved display module, but lacking what component most people would consider essential. And the last in the news question this week, the nominees for the 63rd Grammy Awards were released. What was notable about all of the nominees in the best rock Best rock performance category. It's the first time this has ever happened. Okay, the next category is called early roles. This is all about early roles in the careers of film stars. Question one What award winning actors scored an early Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor at the age of 18 for his role in the 1993 movie What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Question seven. What Matrix star appeared in 17 episodes of Pee Wee's Playhouse in the role of Cowboy Curtis? Question eight. What Avenger had an early role in their career in Home Alone 3? Question nine. What Academy Award nominated actor from London, Ontario had an early role as Young Hercules in a TV show of the same name at the end of the 90s? And the last question in this category. What future hard target search leading actor had early appearances on TV shows Barnaby Jones, Beretta, and Charlie's Angels to start off his career? Okay, the next category is called 1986. I was born in 1986, so we're going to do five questions about stuff that happened in that year. The greatest nuclear disaster in human history occurred on April 26, 1986 at the Chernobyl nuclear panner plant. In what modern day country is Chernobyl? Question 12. Stephanie Germanata was born March 28, 1986, in Manhattan. By what name is she better known? Question 13. In the spring of 1986, what Hollywood icon was elected the mayor of Carmel, California? Question 14. What American rap group released their debut album, License to Ill, in 1986? says ill not three and 15 although in dispute the UK controlled Isles of Scilly may have been in a state of war for over 300 years stemming from a conflict during the English Civil War in the 17th century with what country did the Isles of Scilly formally sign a peace treaty to end one of the longest but bloodless wars in human history in 1986 And the next category is called mascots. So I'm going to show you an image of a mascot. You have to tell me what organization they represent. Or product or team. It's a bit of a mixed bag. Here's your first one. The next one. Third, the 
the fourth. And the last one. Okay, that's the end of round number one. Let's take up the answers. Question one. The actor who spotted at Fearman's was Joaquin Phoenix. You can see those stupid trucks in the background. This is him here. Canada struck a new trade deal with the UK as they have to redo all their trade deals because of Brexit. The Toronto Raptor who is going to remain with the team is Fred Van Fleet. This car, this futuristic car is actually lacking, missing two components you'd probably think are essential. So you have a choice of getting either one. It's the steering wheel. It has no steering wheel and it has no pedals. So this is the car here. And all of the nominees for best rock performance category were either women or bands fronted by women for the first time ever. The actor who was in What's Eating Gilbert Grape and got a, an Oscar nomination, that's Leonardo DiCaprio. The Matrix star who was in, in Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse as Cowboy Curtis, that's Lawrence Fishburne. The Avenger who is in Home Alone 3, that's Scarlett Johansson. The actor from London to Ontario, that's Ryan Gosling. This is him as young Hercules. And the hard target search leading actor, that's Tommy Lee Jones. Okay, 1986 Chernobyl is in the Ukraine. Stephanie Germanata is better known as Lady Gaga. Hollywood icon elected mayor of Carmel is Clint Eastwood. American rap group, that's Beastie Boys. And until 1986, the Isles of Scilly had a 300-year-old war with the Netherlands that was never pursued by either side. Mascots, this is Gritty. He is the mascot for the Philadelphia Flyers. This is the Follier Nose Fruit Loops Toucan Sam or whatever. Now, this is the mascot for Pringles. This cow... It, I couldn't really get rid of these things. This is actually the product here. This is Baby Bell Cheese. And this is Carlton. He's the mascot for the Toronto Maple Leafs, believe it or not. Okay, round two. We start with what a view. I've done this before. I'm going to show you an image of a cityscape. You have to tell me what city that is. So the first one from North America. What city is this? Twenty two from Africa. Oops, twenty three, North America once again. Twenty four from Europe. And the last one from Asia. Okay, the next category is called Good Riddance. So, on January 20th, everyone in the world will bid farewell to Donald Trump and will be happy to do so, but we will also be bidding farewell to his entire administration. So in this category, we will hear a quote from five of the following knuckleheads. Betsy DeVos, Jared Kushner, Kaylee McEnany, Stephen Miller, Mike Pompeo, and Chad Wolf. So you will hear the quote and have to match the quote with one of these individuals. None of them will be repeated and one of them will be not used. And we will bid farewell to these knuckleheads. Here's your first quote. After fielding a question about trying to limit immigration and if that goes against the values depicted on the Statue of Liberty, this individual said, the Statue of Liberty is a symbol of liberty enlightening the world. The poem you're referring to was added later. Who said this? The next quote, 
one thing we've seen in the black community is that Trump's policies help with many of the problems that they complain about, but he can't want them to be successful more than they want to be successful. Who said this unpleasant thing? Number 28. I would imagine that there's probably a gun in the school to pre protect from potential grizzly bears. Question 29. About children being separated from their parents at the border, almost in every instance, they have chosen to have their kids remain here in the United States while they remain back in their home countries. They have chosen to separate their children from themselves. Disgusting. And the last quote. The president has said unmistakably that schools should be open. When he says open, he means open and full. The science should not stand in the way of this. Who said this? Okay, that's the end of those people and good riddance. Next category is called religion. Five questions about religion. Here's your first question. What religious group founded in 1870 with its worldwide headquarters in Warwick, New York, has nearly 9 million members and a doctrine of beliefs they refer to as the truth? do it on YouTube you get a bonus but I'm gonna take out the part about the headquarters maybe people will think it's Mormons 32 in the Hindu religion who is the creator of the universe question 33 what occupation did Peter and many of the Apostles share before becoming followers of Jesus Christ Question 34. What religious group was founded in 1966 by Abe Charanaravinda Bhaktivedanta Swami and has approximately 1 million followers worldwide? That's a mouthful. I just sight read that. I had actually not read it yet. And the last one what is this item pictured below? It is somehow associated with religion okay moving on the next category word trail I like doing these in this category the last two letters of one answer when reversed will be the first two letters of the next answer here's your first clue the inhabitants of Tahiti So if you have an answer for this, you take the last two letters, flip them around. They will be your first two letters for this. Okay, Diego, Diego Maradona passed away yesterday. The, the Serie A team, Diego Maradona, captain to a UEFA Cup championship during the 1988-89 season. So this one may be easier and can help you with the first one and, or vice versa. Question 38. Messy writing. Question 39. A major World War II battle taking place from October to November of 1942 won by the Allies. And the last clue, a foolish or stupid person. That's a diff dictionary definition. Come to think of it, this uh, seems like a difficult word trail, I think, maybe. Okay, that's the end of round number two. Let's take up some answers. Your first one, this is, a clue here is this tower. This is Calgary. Africa, this is, e or sorry, it's Cairo in Egypt. This is North America, this is Miami. 
Europe, this is Vienna. And your last one, this is Hong Kong. Good riddance. This quote about the Statue of Liberty was from Stephen Miller. It's looking positively serial killer-esque here. This nonsense is by Jared Kushner, who looks like, in this picture, a mannequin come to life who's not happy about it. Uh, this like ridiculous quote about grizzly bears, that's from Betsy DeVos. She's the Secretary of Education or something. This one is by Chad Wolf, and the last one is from Katie McCannany. Okay, religion. The religious group uh, founded in Warwick, New York, that I'm going to remove that part, that is Jehovah's Witnesses. Hindu religion, the creator of the universe is Brahma. Peter and many of the apostles were fishermen. This religious group is called, it has another name, but they're usually known as Hare Krishna. They have a long name that if you have that, that's right to some international followers of Krishna or something. And this is an E meter that in the Scientology religion measures your Thetan level. Word trail, the inhabitants of Tahiti, this was deliberately vague. They are Polynesian. Diego Maradona led Napoli to a UEFA Cup title. Messi writing is illegible, which when you take the EL, the major World War II battle is El Alamein. And then the last one, a foolish or stupid person you have is a nincompoop. So uh, that seems like it was probably pretty tough, but we'll see tonight. Category nine, uh, TV themes. Everyone's favorite. Maybe the last time I do this, because I'm running out of ideas for TV shows. First one, this one's not very loud. Last one. My laundry machine's going nuts behind me, but okay. Next category is called aeroports. I'm gonna give you the name of an airport. You have to tell me what city it's in. Okay, your first one is Teagle. Next we have, this is just the code, YVR. No one watches these anyways. Next we have McCarran Airport.
Next we have uh, Haneda. And lastly we have Suvarnabhumi. Okay, that's moving on to the next category. We have category 11, general knowledge, five random questions about stuff. Your first question. What does the word sagacious mean? Is it having or showing good judgment, having or conveying inappropriate interest in private matters, or eager or quick to argue or fight? Next question. What former Mighty Duck and current SNL cast member, having been on the show for 18 years, is the longest tenured SNL actor in the show's storied history? Question 53. What profession does Pick Withers have? Is he a politician, a musician, a comedian, or an architect? Question 54. True or false, Emperor Palpatine doesn't have a first name. And the last question in this category. What band sang of a boy in a house? It's been the ruin of many a poor boy. Dear God, I know I'm one. Okay, your last category, as it always, is three pointers. Here's your first one. Name any three of the last four Super Bowl MVPs. Fifty-seven. Hawaii is home to the southernmost point in the United States. For a point each, name the states in which you can find the northernmost, easternmost, and westernmost points in the United States. Okay, your next question, 58. What are the three basic types of rock? One point for each. Question 59. Name the three wives of Henry VIII who died while married to him, or very, very shortly after, like days after, if you want to get technical. And your last question of the night. After English and French, what are the three most commonly spoken language in Canada by mother tongue? as of 2016. You can see the hint, they're all about the similar number, 500 to 600,000. Okay, that's the end of round number three. Let's do some answers. Your TV themes, we had The Dick Van Dyke Show, The Waltons, Poirot, Star Trek Voyager, and of course, Game of Thrones. Airports, Teagle is in Berlin. YVR is Vancouver. McCarran is Las Vegas. Hanada Haneda is Tokyo, one of two. And Suvar Nabumi is the airport that services Bangkok. General knowledge. Sagacious means having or showing good judgment. Former Mighty Duck, who is the longest tenured SNL actor, is his name is Keenan Thompson been on the show forever. Pick Withers was a musician. He's the drummer for Dire Straits, I believe. Emperor Palpatine does have a first name, which means this question, the answer is false. His first name is apparently Sheev. And this song was sung by the animals. It's um, House of the Rising Sun, I think. 
Last four Super Bowl MVPs, we have Pat Mahomes of KC, Julian Edmonton, Edelman, Nick Foles, and Tom Brady. Okay, so this one, the states that have the northmost, easternmost, and westmost points in the United States, we have north is Alaska, west is Alaska, and east is Alaska. It's kind of a dick question. 58, because Alaska crosses the international date line, like somewhere in here. 58, the three basic types of rock, igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. The three wives who did not outlive him. Oh, I didn't make, I didn't fix this. The answers though, there's only three wives. I'll have to change this. Anne Boleyn, Jane Seymour, and Catherine Howard. And your last question, the three most common spoken language in Canada after English and French, Mandarin, Cantonese, and Punjab. Okay, if you stuck it out to the end, I'm, I'm guessing the sound was shit. But that's the end of the night. Hope you had fun.